But we do want to turn our focus again to Tucson, which is this morning preparing to say goodbye to the victims of Saturday's deadly rampage. A mass is planned for this evening. President Obama will attend a memorial service tomorrow. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy is in Tucson with more. Ben, good morning. Good morning, Erica. Seven of the shooting victims are still here at the University Medical Center this morning. And, you know, while so many people are just trying to process this tragedy, we're learning a whole lot more about the alleged gunman. As the FBI meticulously scoured what is still very much a crime scene here in Tucson, the nation paused. We're better than this. From the heights of outer space where Gabrielle Gifford's brother-in-law Scott is on the International Space Station. We must do better to the cold reality of planet Earth. The president, who will travel to Tucson tomorrow, led the nation in a moment of silence and prayer. The alleged shooter, 22-year-old Jared Lee Loeffner, smiled for his mugshot. He appeared in federal court for the first time Monday, charged with five counts of murder and attempted murder. He was not on the same level as everyone else. Former classmate Stephen Cates says Loeffner was a loner and mentally unstable. He feared Loeffner would bring a gun to class someday and shoot everyone. Cates tried to make friends with him so he would not get shot. He would clench his fists and grin. Um, during random times throughout class, he would just laugh to himself. Perhaps even odder is the makeshift altar with a skull discovered in Loeffner's backyard. A guy came to the Safeway and started shooting. Authorities tell CBS News that Loeffner's attack on Congresswoman Giffords was not partisan, but more likely because he was anti-government in general, and she was a symbol of it. He may also have been upset after asking Giffords a question at a 2007 event that she did not answer. Friends say Loeffner never forgot it. After being shot point blank in the head, the Congresswoman is still in the ICU, but doctors remain optimistic. With regard to Congresswoman Giffords' recovery, at this phase in the game, no change is good, and we have no change. But for the families of the victims, everything has changed. Now, President Obama is set to arrive here late tomorrow afternoon. He's set to meet with some of the families of the shooting victims and then possibly attend a memorial service that is being held tomorrow night at the University of Arizona. Erica. Ben Tracy in Tucson this morning. Ben, thanks.